the White House has reportedly sent a letter outlining reform requirements for Ukraine to qualify for additional financial aid from the U.S. UGZ-7 and international organizations. Mike Pyle, a deputy White House national security advisor, delivered the letter to Ukraine's presidential office, Prime Minister Denai Shmyhal, and the donor coordination platform overseeing international aid. The publication Ukrainska Pravda reports the reforms target government efficiency and cover various sectors, including anti-corruption bodies, the judiciary, defense, and law enforcement. Reforms are categorized into zero to three months, three to six months, one year, and 18 months. In the initial three months, changes include strengthening the specialized anti-corruption prosecutor's office, increasing National Anti-Corruption Bureau investigators to 300 with wiretapping authority, completing the High Council of Justice restart, ensuring National Agency for the Prevention of Corruption heads independent selection, and reinstating mandatory asset declarations for civil servants and judges with simplifications. Russia's need to redeploy troops along the overstretched front line with Ukraine means a fresh offensive from Moscow's forces is unlikely, the UK's Ministry of Defense has claimed. It cites the creation and deployment of Russia's 25th Combined Arms Army 25KA, which was reportedly seen in Ukraine for the first time in August. However, instead of being deployed en masse to one area of the front line from where it could launch a concerted offensive, Units from the army have been deployed to reinforce under-defended areas.